What's up internet, I am Manish from rebellionrider.com. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to install Oracle Database 12C on Windows 10 Professional 64-bit. Unfortunately, Oracle 12C is not available for 32-bit architecture operating system. So if you are using one of them, then I am really sorry. If you are using any version other than Windows 10 Professional, then also don't worry, you can still follow this tutorial as a step for installing Oracle Database 12C are the same. That being said, let's jump straight to the tutorial tutorial and learn how to install Oracle Database 12C on Windows 10 Professional 64-bit. In order to install the Oracle 12C, we have to download the software which you can do by visiting the Oracle website. Go to the oracle.com and choose download from the menu and then select Oracle Database. After that, you will be here on the download page. First, accept the license agreement and come to the Oracle Database 12C Release 1 section. Here, as you can see, all the available edition of Oracle 12C is listed. Choose the one which best suits your need. For this demonstration, I will choose the Oracle Database 12C Standard, Standard 1 and Enterprise Edition. I will download the files from the first option, which is Microsoft Windows 64-bit. As I'm installing the software on Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, we have to download these two files and you can download these files either directly clicking on their names or by selecting see all link. I will choose the later option. Once you click that see all link, you will be here on Oracle Database 12C download page. Here again, accept the OTN license agreement and download these two files from Oracle Database 12C release one section. To download these files, you will need to sign in to the Oracle website. If you have a valid account on this site, then it's well and good. Otherwise, you can register yourself here and create an account which is completely free of cost. After filling the username and password, as soon as you hit the sign in, the file will start downloading automatically. To save the time, I have already downloaded these files and here are they. As you can see, the content of both these files are compressed and zipped. Thus, we need to first extract their content. Let's start with the first file. Here we are. Now, let's rename this extracted folder from database to database1. Let's do the same with our second file. Okay, again, let's rename this folder from database to database2. Next, go to the folder database2, then go to the folder stage and then go to the directory components and copy all the directories from this components folder. Press Ctrl A to select all and now copy them. Now we have to come back to our folder database1. And here it is. Inside this, you have a folder stage, go to it and then go to the folder components. And here paste all those files which we copied earlier. That's it. Now we are all set to start the setup and install the Oracle Database 12C on our Windows 10. So let's come to our folder database1 where we have our setup file. And here it is. Right click the setup file and choose run as administrator. Accept the warning and this will start your Oracle Universal Installer. On this screen, you need to provide your email address if you want to receive all the notifications and news alerts from Oracle. If you do not want it, then simply leave these fields empty and move to next. Accept this warning as it's just reminding you that you didn't provide the email ID. Avoid it and move ahead. On this tab, you have option for installing updates to Oracle Database 12C. If you have Oracle Database credentials, then choose the first option, fill up the login form and download the updates. Or if you already have downloaded the updates on your system, then choose the second option, specify the file location and install the updates. Third option will let you proceed ahead without installing any updates. This is the one that we are going to do now as we just downloaded fresh and updated copy of Oracle 12C software. On the next screen, you will be presented with three different installation options. You can choose any of them according to your needs. In my case, I want to install Oracle Server software and want to create a database also. Thus, I will choose the first option. If you choose the second option, then only Oracle Server will be installed and no database will be created. You can create a database after the installation of Oracle Server using DBCA. If you want to do that, then I have a video tutorial on how to create database using DBCA just for you. Link is in the description. You can go with the third option if you want to perform the upgrade of the database and software. But I will choose the first option and will hit the next and move ahead. 
In this step, you have to choose between server class and desktop class. If you are installing this Oracle Database 12C on your laptop or desktop, then go with the first option which is desktop class. If you are installing the Oracle 12C on a server which is capable enough to handle the load of all the server components and processes, then choose the second option which is server class. In my case, I am installing Oracle Database 12C on my Windows 10 Professional which is installed on my laptop, thus I will choose the first option and hit the next. Till now the installation was pretty similar to the installation of Oracle 10G and 11G. But here we have a different step. In this step we need to select or create a Windows user account for Oracle Database 12C. This account must be standard or say limited account not the administrative one. As you can see we are provided with three options. First option will let you use existing Windows standard user if you have any. Using second option we can create a standard Windows user which will be later assigned as Oracle Home. Third option will help us in choosing Oracle Home from the Windows built in default users. I will go with the second option and create a Windows standard user and use it as my Oracle Home. I will name my Oracle Home user as Rebellion Rider and will give it a valid password. You can name your Windows user whatever you want. Now hit next and move to the next step. Here in this step you can configure the basic settings of your database. For example using first three text fields you can set the Oracle base location, software location which will be your Oracle home and database file location which will be the location where Oracle server will store all your important files such as data file, control files and redo logs. Be careful while setting them. I am good with default locations thus won't change them. Using database edition drop down list you can choose which database version you want to install. In my case it's the enterprise edition. Next is character set. Let it be set on default as I'm good with it but if you want you can change it. Next field is global database name which will be the name of your database also serve as your database SID. You will need this while making connection with your database using tools such as SQL developer. By default it is set as ORCL. If you want you can change it and give any other name but make sure to remember it. I suggest you to write it down somewhere as your database SID. In the next two fields you have to give the password. This will be the password of your administrative users such as sys or system. Okay, be careful here. Write it down somewhere or remember it. This will be the password of your sys user or system user. Let's fill it up. Make sure to check the create as container database checkbox. This option creates a database as container database that can support maximum up to 252 pluggable database. Next is pluggable database name. Here you have to specify a unique name for your pluggable database. For this demonstration I am good with the default name which is PDB ORCL. So let's hit next. Don't worry about this warning, it's just saying that the password which we just entered is not as per the Oracle password standard. You can read this warning, just click yes and move ahead. Now OUI will check for the prerequisites such as hardware compatibility. If everything goes well then we will be good to install it. If there is any error then OUI will show you here. Fortunately no errors. Now hit install, doing so will start the installation. This installation might take some time depending on your hardware. Don't go anywhere. There is one more important step left in the installation. I do not want to waste your time thus I will fast forward this process. Here we are on the last step where we will unlock the users. Click this password management button. Now here in this password management window we have all the users which are by default locked. You can unlock any of them. For example I want to unlock this user with name anonymous. For that I will uncheck this box which is in front of its name and give it a valid password. Click OK now. Avoid this warning again as it's reminding you that the password is not up to the Oracle standard. Just hit yes and move ahead. We are back again on our DBCA window. Here you can see all the important information regarding our Oracle database such as global database name, SID of our database, location of parameter files and the link of our enterprise manager. I would suggest you to save this link somewhere. Click OK and this installation is successfully done. Click close to close this OUI. That's all we have to do to install Oracle Database 12C on Windows 10 Professional 64-bit. I have done a few videos on Oracle Database 12C explaining how to unlock HR sample schema, 
how to install sample users or schemas in Oracle 12C and how to connect pluggable database with SQL developer using TNS services as well as how to uninstall Oracle 12C. You can check all these tutorial link is in the description below. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. You can tell me how you like this video by leaving a comment down below or tweet me at Rebellion Rider. Thanks for watching. I will be back soon with another tutorial. Till then take care. This is Manish from Rebellion Rider.